Mel Harris, garbage man Piper, taking a late lunch, but I grab a bowl. 28th day of July, I'm smoking the Savinelli 626 Lime. Thank you, little sis, and see Piper. And in it, I'm still smoking Carter Hall. You know, it's interesting. I picked this pipe up right now and lit it. I never thought I would say this, but what went through my mind on the retro hell was I could just smoke this blend. So I'm selling all of my seller off. Just kidding. I'm not selling my seller. Just saying. But I will tell you this. It sure has me wanting to cut my seller down to about 10 blends. Just 10 blends. That boggles my mind just thinking about it. Yeah, never thought I'd be saying that I'm smoking a burly and loving it. You know what? I'd like to encourage all the subs I have out there. To challenge yourself. Find a blend. Not, don't smoke it for a month. That's a little bit ridiculous. But just smoke it for a week. And get to know it. It'll make you think about the tobacco that you have in your cellar. And then after a week, decide if it makes the grade. Did you enjoy it enough to cellar that blend? Well, I'm not talking about all the little jars of samples you have. Smoke and enjoy those. I'm talking about the deep seller, you know, the 10 to 15 tin seller. Good week. And what I mean by that, okay, so maybe not a time frame of seven days, but smoke, because if you only smoke one bowl a day, it's seven bowls. I'm talking about. 14, 15 bowls of a blend. So 14, 15 bowls, 20 even better. You know, a week, if you smoke that many bowls in a week, great. If you smoke that many bowls in two weeks, okay. If you smoke that many bowls in three, if it takes you a month, okay. But, but challenge yourself to put in 15, 20 bowls on a blend before you decide to sell it. Because usually within 15, 20 bowls, you're gonna have smoked that blend in different environments, maybe outside, maybe in your smoking area, wherever that is, the garage, the closet, the uh, patio, the porch. And you may even find yourself smoking it in different weather, sunshine, warm, humidity, rain, um, before you decide to sell it. You know, there's, there's almost a point of no return when you're selling and you've got, you've sellered wide. I mean, you've got 50 plus blends in there, which isn't hard to do. 
but think about those 10 to 15 10 10 to 15 tins or what is that pound pound and a half two pounds of tobacco celery when I'm talking about celery I'm talking about blends that you've got a pound or two or more that you're wanting to sell her. Challenge yourself, it'll make you think. It'll help you reset how many pipes you had and do it in, maybe do it in one, maybe two, three pipes. Corn cob, you know, um, a briar, a meerschaum, and decide which of those pipes you know do you enjoy the most that blend mm. it'll just make you think so i posted a video over the weekend <coughs> actually i think i posted it friday or saturday um and i had Thank you for the comments on that. Um, kind of give you an idea of what we're doing, what where we're at with it. And uh, that video mainly was for Gay, my wife, to share with her parents about the time frames it's taking to get things done. We ordered cabinets 15 weeks out. We ordered appliances. You know, by the time they all get here, it could be 15 weeks. I mean, we're way into September, maybe October, end of October before this job's complete. That would be a great deadline, but it just takes time. It takes time getting people on the job, it takes time, you know, to do these things. And thank God Gay works from home. But then all the noise we take care of from like seven to nine every night, uh, Monday through Wednesday, all day Saturday, we're over there, uh, you know, drywalling, texturing, putting doors in, tearing out things, installing lights. Um, I'm keeping the electrical and the plumbing to the professionals. Uh, we may even bring in a painter and possibly do some sheet rocking. But just the peripheral jobs that gotta be done, things that people just overlook, you know? So anyways, I appreciate the comments. Uh, I'll be doing updates of those um, as major changes have been made. Those are basically directed uh, to Gay's folks to help them with their timeline. They still have to sell their house. You know, will, they, will this house be ready when they sell the house? All the gyrations that are going on right now is crazy. But uh, I, I love the work. Um, just those evenings that we're over there working and then Saturday uh, getting things done. So anyways, just a short chat, wanted to check in, 28th day, smoking Carter Hall in my Savinelli, and I'm enjoying it. Um, don't get me wrong, I'm looking forward to maybe smoking that quiet nights again. I really enjoyed the half bowl, but uh, kudos to those that have stuck it out 100%. I've been watching uh, uh, Terry Snarfla and uh, um, let my camera go Nathan and of course Bama dude um, and just all of the others that are uh, participating kudos to you guys for uh, sticking it out and and finding something new about your hobby through this challenge so Bama Bama guitar dude I appreciate you taking the time to do the daily videos but uh, Mel Harris Garbage Man Piper just reaching out, saying a hey, little bit of an update. I do have some shout outs to do, but things are whacked. I thought I would just get in and put this out. I know some people have asked me to put links in.
the description when I do shout outs and my mind is racing um, about the easiest way to do that. Um, I've got some thoughts in mind, but if there may be a couple shout out videos without links for now, I know there's special spelling and stuff. So I, I may take the time to put at least the spellings in the description, but uh, Greg uh, Tunnel Take called me out on that. So we'll see if I can't do a better job there. But uh, just give me some time and give me a break, Greg. Dang. Mel Harris, Garbage Man, Piper saying, Sweet Chicken Baby. Y'all be safe out.